Hey, it's Mike, the Backyard Pioneer, coming to you today with another two-minute gear review. Today we have the Benchmade Contigo 810. I'm try to keep this one around two minutes, but I got a lot to say about this blade. It's got a lot of features. It's one of my favorites, so uh, be prepared for some gushing. I guess we'll jump right in. We'll talk about the blade. It's an M4 tool steel, which uh, I usually do shy away from uh, carbon or tool steels in my pocket knives. But the M4 I'll make an, uh, an exception for because it is that super steel that gives you the superior performance. I know a lot gets made about this steel and that steel. I found M4 to be the real deal. I would say it's it, in my personal experience with line work. I do line construction, cutting wet sandy ropes, stripping cables, all the stuff a lineman does during the day. The M4 has held up probably at least twice as better as S30V blades in the past. I know a lot of that has to do with Benchmade's excellent heat sheet program, so I don't want to attribute it all to the steel. A manufacturer has a lot to do with it, but they, they really hit the one out of the park with this. They really hit it out of the park with this one. Uh, because it is a tool steel, it does have to have a coating. I would really put the coating up there with like the DLC type coating that Spyderco's rocking on the paramilitary too and a lot of their blades right now. Uh, it has a reverse tanto uh, blade. I know that can be a little bit funky and turn some people off, but it gives you a lot of cutting power. It gives you the belly of a traditional knife with the tip strength of like an Americanized tanto by putting that angular piece on top. It also keeps the point in line with the pivot, which gives you a lot of stabbing power if that's what you're looking for, if you need penetration. Um, I guess we'll talk about this Benchmade. This is made by in conjunction with Osborne. He's pretty famous for making their 940, which is considered, you know, it's a grail knife for me. I do want to get one. Just uh, I can't buck up the money for it right now. Hopefully you guys keep watching some videos and checking out my site, and I'll eventually I'll be able to afford one to uh, test. Hint, hint. Going a little further, it has Benchmade's excellent access lock. Access lock. This is my first uh, knife that has an access lock, and I got to admit I'm really in love with it. It's truly ambidextrous. Um, where it's very similar. I don't know if you ever handled a, a Spyderco with the ball bearing lock. I would say they kind of got the impetuous for this from from this. Whereas the, the ball bearing lock, I find I have to do two hands. This one just goes one. Yeah, you can see the lock, the bar, the, it so gives you, snaps out like that. Or you can flick it back. The thumb stud gives you a nice quick deployment. I, I really do like it. And it's true ambidextrous lock. Benchmade's G10 is phenomenal. I think they're the best in the business out of right now where other manufacturers, I found their G10 to be a little bit, uh, slippery. The, I don't know what Benchmade exactly does, but their G10 is fantastic in its grippiness. Uh, the Contigo gets a little bit of a bad rap sometimes for the scalloping. Some people complain it uh, can bother their hands. I know I've seen some uh, other reviewers go as far as sanding it down. Uh, I wear gloves a lot at work, and I also have big nasty alignment hands, which this really didn't bother me. It also has some jimping in all the right spots that are actually on the liners. Really attractive. That kind of gives a flat black. Um, going a little more. It has a real deep carry pocket clip, which is can be adjusted for left or right side carry. Tip-up's your only option on this because of the access lock and the real estate it takes up in the handle. So that's what you're kind of limited to. Um, it has a carbide uh, glass breaker. I really can't talk about that. I haven't used it, so I really am building this so it's made first responders or tactical, tactical uses, but if you're in the neighborhood for a good hard-use blade that's going to give you a lot of value for what you're going to pay a premium price, you're going to pay almost 200 bucks for these. Um, you can do a little better on the secondary market if you keep your eyes out. But uh, I, I would say it's worth it. If you have a chance, grab one. Um, even if you if you don't ha have the cash to get a, a Contigo, if you keep your eye out, I would recommend any of the Benchmades that have the access lock. It, it's a joy to – beauty to behold. It, it's an amazing lock, and I really can't say enough about it. Um, there you go. There you have it. The Benchmade Contigo. This is the 810, uh, the M4. They also make it in a couple other limited runs in different steels, but M4 is where it's at for me. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you check out some of my, my other two-minute reviews. I'm starting to get a little bit of a catalog up there. And you can also check my site out, www.thebackyardpioneer.com. And I'm also on Facebook. Take care and coming to you soon. Bye.